Goodyear, Ariz. The Indians continued to squeeze their spring training roster, but they still haven't found a way to reach the required 25 players for opening day Thursday against the Twins at Target Field. Still, two more names were taken off the board on Saturday. At this time of spring training that's progress. Manager Terry Francona said right-hander Nick Goody was optioned to Class AAA Columbus and outfielder Trace Thompson was told he'd open the season at Columbus. Goody is on the 40-man roster and has an option. Thompson was in camp on a minor league deal. The Indians still haven't made a decision on D.H. Hanley Ramirez, who had his biggest game of the spring Friday night when he hit two homers and a double against the Cubs. Ramirez can opt out of his contract Sunday, we talked to Hanley a little bit, said Francona. We told him possibly there are some moving parts and to be patient. He was unbelievably great about it. He said, I'm fine. I'll do whatever. Just tell me where to go, we'll have more information as we go. The sooner the better for all of us, the Indians are trying to acquire an infielder because shortstop Francisco Lindor and second baseman Jason Kipnis are going to open the season on the injured list with right calf injuries. Francona seems confident that Eric Stamets will be able to play shortstop, but it sounds like they'd like to find some help at second base to go along with Max Maroff. Adam Rosales, Alcides Escobar and Brad Miller are among the available infielders. Rosales played last season with the Tribe, spending most of the year at Columbus. He was just released by the Twins after playing well in big league camp. Goody being optioned leaves eight relievers in camp, Adam Simber, John Edwards, Brad Hand, Tyler Olson, Dan Otero, Oliver Perez, Neil Ramirez and Nick Whitgren. Danny Salazar and Tyler Clippert are expected to open the season on the injured list. Whether Francona goes with seven or eight relievers will probably depend on what decision they make with Ramirez and if they're able to add an infielder. Whitgren is the only reliever who didn't pitch with the Tribe last year. They acquired him on February 4 from Miami for right-hander Jordan Milbrith. This spring he's posted a 3.86 era in eight games. He's struck out six and walked and walked one in nine and a third innings. He's got some deception and movement, said Francona. He's one of those guys who don't appear to be overpowering, but somehow finds a way to get his fastball by you. He's not scared one bit and he can go multiple innings, but he made just 12 appearances last year before injuring his right elbow in May. He underwent surgery in August and made six appearances this spring. He posted a 4.50 era with six strikeouts and two walks in six innings. We want to start Nick in AAA because he's basically pitched eight or nine innings since May, said Francona. We think he can really impact us. Coming out of the shoot, we can get him consistent work because I think we feel he's getting to a point where he can really impact our bullpen. Thompson hit .293, 12 for 41, with two homers and eight RBI this spring. He scored 9 runs and posted a .993 ops in 20 games, I thought Thompson showed some of what he can do, said Francona. There was also some sporadic play. Geez, he missed time with a broken back. His athleticism, attitude and work ethic are tremendous. We told him we'd like to be the team where it clicks, Thompson suffered a stress fracture in his back playing for the Dodgers in 2016, the outfielders still in camp include Greg Allen, Jake Bowers, Jordan Luplo, Leonis Martin, Bradley Zimmer and Carlos Gonzalez. Zimmer will open the season on the disabled list and Gonzalez will stay in Goodyear when the Indians break camp on Sunday in an effort to join the big league club before his April 20th opt-out. Gonzalez is going to DH in minor league games Saturday and Sunday.